Hello there, and welcome to Football Quotes. James Perch reveals why he hasn't spoken to Alan Pardew in eight years. Former Newcastle midfielder James Perch has revealed why he hasn't spoken to Alan Pardew in eight years. Perch was signed during the Mike Ashley era, joining the Magpies in 2010 from Nottingham Forest. However, his three years at Newcastle were his only time spent in the Premier League. Alan Pardew said I'd get a new contract in January 2013, Perch said, but by the time the window had closed, he'd signed a couple of players like Muasa Sissoko and Masadir Haidara and said, we're not going to offer you one now. He'd got my hopes up and then just pulled it off the table. However, it was Pardew's testimony against Perch's close friend and teammate Jonas Gutierrez which was the final straw. I saw Jonas for lunch in Nottingham and he showed me what Pardew had said about him. Said Perch, I thought it was a disgrace and I will never speak to Pardew again. I've got no time for him. He was saying Jonas wasn't good enough to do this and that to be in his first team. As I was reading it, I was thinking, Jonas played left back because the gaffer needed him to. He played centre midfield because the gaffer needed him to. It seemed like Jonas would do anything for Newcastle and anything for the manager. He played through injury and came back from injuries. All of it that I read, it was just wrong on so many levels. Around the grounds. Fans have taken to Twitter to joke about Prince George's reaction to having to sing the English national anthem. The little prince, who watched England's match against Germany on Tuesday with his parents, could be seen rolling his eyes while singing the anthem half heartedly. Absolutely love how Prince George, who is literally related to the woman the song is about, couldn't care less to sing the national anthem, LMAO wrote one. Prince George rolling his eyes during the national anthem at the football, already my favourite king, posted another. Big moment for Prince George as he joins William and Kate at Wembley, singing the national anthem. Arsenal football star Ainsley Maitland-Niles walked away unhurt after his G-Class Mercedes overturned in a motorway crash near Enfield in London at around 6am on June 30th. His club has confirmed that Maitland-Niles was unharmed following the crash between junctions 24 and 25 of the M25. A spokesman said, All we know, having spoken to him, is he was involved in an accident, he's unhurt, and he's at home. Thanks for joining us here on Football Quotes. We'll see you next time.